umbrella organizations called Education NC. Our website is edNC.org, and we grew out of um, this desire. Actually, a group of rural superintendents came together and said, you know, our local newspapers have died. No one is covering education. No one is showing the great things that we're doing. It's generally a tale of, you know, our schools are failing and this and that. Um, and so this idea came and um, they provided some of the initial funding for Education NC. And so we've grown, started about three years ago, and we grew up, we've grown from just at NC to now we call ourselves a collection of uh, initiatives and nonprofits. So we have Education NC, which is our more kind of journalism organization focused on news about all things K-12 education in North Carolina and the North Carolina Center for Public Policy Research, which is a 40-year think tank that um, we at NC affiliated with about a year, a little over a year ago. Um, so I do work more on, we all wear many hats because there's not that many of us. So I, I do a lot of different things, but um, I work more with the policy side of things. Um, we have Reach NC, which is what I'm here to talk to you all about today, which is our um, kind of technology suite of tools to try and lift up teacher, student, and parent voices and get kind of those opinions heard more in the education debate. Um, and then we also have First Foot NC, which none of you all think are high school teachers, but um, we have an online election simulation for high schoolers to get them, it, you know, they get a ballot that looks exactly like the ballot we all would get when we go vote, um, just to get them prepared and understand what the process of voting is. So that's a little bit about us, but today I'm really um, going to focus on Reach NC Voices. Our website, ednc.org, if you want to learn you know, more about us, two good places to go. Um, you can search our annual report from last year. Our new one will be coming out in probably July, I think, this past year. And then our theory of change. So I'll kind of go over that briefly. But basically, you know, we kind of believe that covering news and research and getting a broad reach of voices, um, plus using innovative techniques and reporting techniques to get more inclusive voices um, will lead to impact and will then lead to change. Um, so that's that's how we envision ourselves, um, kind of our place in, in North Carolina.